Hello and welcome. My name is Angie Holden and I'm the blogger behind the Country Chic Cottage. So today we're going to engrave on acrylic and make these cute night lights. So I'm going to do this project on my Cricut Explore Air 2 with an engraving tip I found. But you can definitely switch this up and do it on the Maker with the engraving tip for that machine. So this will require the Explore series or the Maker series in order to make this project. You won't be able to do it with the Cricut Joy. But otherwise you'll be able to make some cute night lights for your kids or perhaps yourself. So I will link to everything I'm using below because I did take some time, research some night light options as well as some acrylic options in order to make this project perfect for your Cricut machine. So let's take a look at the supplies we're gonna use and then make some engraved night lights. You're gonna need the following supplies. Engraving tip for the Explore machine. I will link to this below. However, if you have a maker, you can definitely use the engraving tip for that and your maker machine. Then you'll need your acrylic blanks. You'll need two per night light, and I will show you why later. Strong grip transfer tape, strong grip mat, and then the night light itself. So these are super cute and come with like a little remote to change colors and everything. You definitely don't have to get this fancy, but I will link to the one that I purchased below. So I'm gonna do two different shapes. You can pick one shape, there's more shapes than this. Whatever shape you would like will work with these same techniques. So let's head to Design Space and take a look at the designs we're gonna use for this project. So here are the three designs that I'm gonna make as examples. So first of all, because I'm using an Explore, I need these to be cut lines. If I was using a Maker, I could definitely make them engraved lines, but we're kind of tricking the Explore machine, so I do need them to be cut lines. So for this design and the Spider-Man design, I just sized it to where it would fit on the blanks I have planned to use. Now, the dinosaur, I don't want the whole thing on the blank. So I drew a circle that is approximately the size of my blank. It was kind of hard to determine the size on these. And then I'm gonna pick both the dinosaur and the circle and click slice. Then I'm gonna get rid of everything I don't need. So everything it sliced away, just get rid of that. And what you're left with is a cut piece. And then I wanna make sure that all of these are the same color. So now all of these are the black color and everything is a cut line. So now I can click make it. So on this screen, what I wanna do is definitely mirror my design. All right, so I actually went back out and changed all my designs to blue so I could see them a little bit better on this screen. And then we wanna mirror these designs and that's because I wanna engrave on the back of the acrylic for this one. And then for each of these, we're gonna move them to the location wherever we put our blank on the mat. So wherever I put the blank on the mat, I will move this over into that location in order for it to engrave, or it thinks it's cutting in this case, in the correct location. So let's go ahead and take a look at locating our blanks on the mat, and I will move these pieces according to where I put my pieces on my mat. The first thing you will wanna do is add strong grip transfer tape down the top down so the backing sheet is up onto your mat. After you get that down really well on your mat, you'll just wanna peel the backing sheet away, leaving the transfer tape on your mat. For each one of these acrylic blanks, you'll wanna peel the sheet back that's protecting this on both sides. So there's gonna be a protective sheet on the front as well as the back, and you wanna peel both of those. There I peeled both the front and the back, and I have a completely clear piece of plastic to apply to my mat. Now you wanna add it to your mat in a location where you know where it is, and you wanna make sure it's straight, and then you wanna press it down well with your brayer and make sure it's really, really down on that mat. Now we're gonna repeat with one blank for each night light you're making. So we're only going to engrave one of the blanks for each night light, even though you need two for each night light. I've added the engraving tool to clamp B, moved my star wheels all the way over to the right, and I went ahead and picked chipboard as my setting. I did go ahead and mirror the mat because I want the cut lines to be on the back of my acrylic. I am using the chipboard setting, and now I'm going to load my mat. Then we'll press the go button to remember it thinks it's cutting, but actually we have the engraving tip in clampy. And now that these are done engraving, we'll eject the mat 
And let's take a look at how to finish the night lights. You want to remove the debris from the engraving. So there'll be several like pieces of plastic all over the engraving and I'm just using a rag to wipe those off. Then we'll just want to take each of these off of the mat. Peel up, transfer tape and all, then peel the transfer tape back from the acrylic. There is one example of that engraving. So this is the front. Remember we engraved on the back and this is our Spider-Man face. To assemble the nightlight, we'll have the engraving on the back of this piece and then we'll put a second piece on here. So each of these pieces are two millimeters thick, which is about as thick as I'm gonna be able to get in my Explore machine. However, the nightlight takes a four millimeter piece. So two of these together will fit in the nightlight. So I just like to put the engraving between the two pieces and that way you get a more finished look to your nightlight as well. Then you'll just put this portion into the nightlight base and push down. Once that's down and into place, your nightlight is ready to go. And all that's left to do is to turn it on and start changing those colors to different colors with your remote and watch all the fun with this nightlight. So I'll just repeat with all of my other designs. All right, so I love the way these turned out. I love the way they look when they're lit up. I love the way they look in a dark room. They are like super amazing. I got the location really, really good. I feel like on the Spider-Man and the dinosaur. Maybe did not do as well on the star-shaped one, but I do have another video that explains how you can kind of hone in your location when doing engraving. And I will link to that in the description below. Now, these night lights. First of all, I have them on like a solid color right now, but the remote has so many options. Plus, when they're all on, I can sync them to one remote. Then you can do like strobe, flash, so you can like have it cycle between all the colors, and it has so many different colors options that you can choose from, either on the remote or there is a button on the front of each of the night lights that you can use to change the color. So the kids could do it themselves with that or use the remote if they wanted to. Then you can also turn the brightness up and down with the remote itself. So tons of different options with the remote as well as the night lights. I really, really think you'll enjoy both the product as well as the project once you get started going with it. I know that I really, really love this project. So I do wanna like say again that you'll need two pieces of the acrylic for each of the night lights because you're gonna sandwich them together, right? So you're going to engrave one on the back and then sandwich them together. So now it's smooth on both sides because that engraving is on the back, if that makes sense. So you get that smooth finish on both sides and then it's thick enough that it sticks in the nightlight and doesn't wobble at all. And so it's not going to break or like keep coming out, falling out, whatever. If you just have the one sheet in the nightlight, it would kind of fall out if they touched it and it'd be super wobbly. So definitely do the two sheets. So that's the only advice I have there. And then once again, you can use either your Explorer or your Maker and I'll link to the tools for both of those in the description below. So now, if you like this video, if it helped you, give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions about engraving acrylic with your Explorer or Maker machine, making these night lights, anything like that, please feel free to ask those in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, head on over to our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. We have videos like this one all the time and trust me, you don't wanna miss any of those. So thank you all so much for joining me and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.